Hello everybody, welcome back to Tadpole Treble. Uh, last time we played through the tutorial and the first three levels, so we're going to continue here uh, and see the next few levels in, in this game. Back to adventure. Alright, so yes, last time we played up through Chiptune Lagoon, so next up is the Midnight Bayou. Um, after I recorded last time, I did go back and play these three levels a couple more times. Um, so you can see I got some better scores. And I still don't know... If you look on the right side here, there's five medals you can get in each level. Uh, so the check mark I think, is just finishing the fly. I'm not really sure. You either have to do, like, really well or do some sort of specific task, but I don't know what the tasks are. So I earned two of them, but I don't know how. Um, and then I believe this one is for collecting all 100 bubbles in the level, which I haven't done yet because it's still hard. I always miss one. Um, and then there's an S rank medal and an F rank medal for doing really badly. I think there's actually an achievement for, like, failing every level. I don't know why, but that's there. <laughs> so let's continue on. Midnight Bayou. Oh, I will mention one thing before we start. Um, I was watching the last video. And um, during the tutorial level, there was one part of the tutorial that I missed because I was looking elsewhere. Um, and you probably saw it if you watched the first video. But there are like reeds that cover the entire um, sheet of music, and you're supposed to hit those with your tail as you go past. But I did not see that message uh, when I first played. So that's why I didn't do it in any of the levels, but I'll try to do it from now on. Let's begin. It's all midnighty. Thwack! Like that, that's what I was talking about. Very jazzy by you. Somebody singing! Hello, Tadpole, on this midnight rendezvous. You're singing at me. Lost, but don't worry, Who are you? Cause I just might go the way through. Ooh. I'll slip you beside you and tap. Who is this person? I just met you. I suppose I am a female tadpole, but this guy's creeping me out. Shrimp! Oh, I missed a mushroom. Stop looking at me! I don't know what to do about those mosquitoes. I hit one before and it looked like it didn't work and then I didn't hit it that time. Ah, some kind of salamander. Ah. 
Deadpool has a mighty large voice. Still creeps me out though. I only missed two bubbles. That was pretty good though. Creeping me out though. Yeah, some of these levels apparently have singing, so we'll see if we run into more of that. Oh no! What's happening now? We see something. Oh no, it's another bird. Is it some sort of kiwi? It wants to eat us! It gets. What happened? It got grabbed by something? Whoa! It got eaten by the big fat toad. Jeez, and he's just chewing on the bird? That's kind of gross. Didn't see that coming. What is this now? Bullfrog Grove. Bubble Market Challenge Flies. Interesting. Okay, let's check this out. Stop by, stop by Etude's Pad in Bullfrog Grove? Yes. I didn't know this was going to happen. I'm still disturbed by you chewing on that bird. Rope. Thank you for distracting that snack for me. In return, I offer this piece of advice. <laughs> I like the sounds it makes. Be sure to watch your back, or you just may be eaten by you. You would be most wise to remember this in the dangerous growl you're currently heading into. Barracuda Caverns. That does sound scary. The beast that dwells there is an aggressive foe, but his eyes are quite sensitive to light. If you can find a way to brighten his day, you might just pull through. But since you're here, perhaps you would oblige to help me out. You see, I desire bubbles. I know you have some on you. I would recognize that sweet cherry scent anywhere. You can smell bubbles that I've popped. If you give me your bubbles, I'll give you some nice rewards. It is not mandatory. Think of it as some sort of quest on the side. A side quest, if you will. Although I can make my own bubbles, they do not last long, and they certainly do not smell of cherries. I think he's talking about his frog farts. So please keep a mental image of my pleading eyes in your tadpole brain as you collect these bubbles. Well, bubbles and challenge flies. I don't know how to collect those, though. Uh, okay. Bubble bank. Welcome to the bubble bank. I'll hang on to your bubbles in exchange for goodies accessible from the main menu. I see. Whoa, 472 bubbles. I've picked the right horse to bet on, clearly. Keep up the good work. You have my gratitude and my rewards. Enjoy them. Alright, uh, I went through all the dialogue. Let's see what it says on the left. Bubble Bank. So, as he said, I have collected 472. Um, which must be, like, my combined high scores. I've done, well, let me think. I did the intro and four levels now, and if each one, well, each of the four levels should have a hundred each, so that'd be four hundred bubbles max. And the tutorial, I don't know if it had a hundred as well, so that'd be five hundred total, and I have missed some, so four seventy-two sounds right. Um, I don't think it's cumulative because, as I said, I played the first three levels a couple times, and so I would have collected, you know, another three hundred bubbles on top of that. Uh, so that's my guess. I might be wrong, but anyway. At 472, we've unlocked Bestiary 1, Music Player Bestiary 2, and I guess in another 28 bubbles we'll get whatever that next locked thing is, so... 1200 is the top, and I wonder if that's a perfect score on all 12 levels, or maybe a little less, I don't know. That's what I know, Challenge Flies. I suppose you're wondering what Challenge Flies are. Yes. They're quite rare indeed. Each area of this land only has one. And to capture them, you must perform certain feats to draw them out. For instance, one challenge fly may come out if you hit all the bamboo in an area. If you're having difficulty succeeding, do not neglect your treble charge meter. Once it is filled, simply hold your attack down to charge your tail. You will temporarily enter treble mode, which allows you to break through rocks without taking damage. In exchange for this enlightening suggestion, I expect a meager reward. Please bring any challenge flies you find to me. I'll be sure to give them a good home. He's going to eat them. And by the way, I have been charting when these creatures appear as well. I might even consider sharing my chart with you if you bring me enough bubbles. I got gotcha. you. Oh. I thought maybe I could give him my flies. But he's just explaining them again. Okay, um... Judging from your complexion, I'd say you are a Columbia Spotted Frog, am I correct? 
Thought so, it's hard to believe that some creatures lack identification skills for frog species. I feel inclined to tell them to crack open a bestiary sometime. So long for now. See you later, fatso. Interesting. Bestiary 1 is unlocked. I see. Music player and bestiary 2. Okay. Uh, so if we go back to the first level here... Now we can see the challenge fly says, There's gold in them thar hills. Must be a hint towards getting that challenge fly. Which I did get. And I got this one, Jump for Joy. And this one, which I did not get, doesn't say anything. So, I still don't know. I haven't learned anything. But getting bubbles and flies is good. He did tell me about the trouble charge meter. So we'll see if I can do anything about it this time. I don't know. Now we head into Barracuda Caverns, into a scary Barracuda Cave or something. Let's go! Ah! One right off the bat. He's not singing towards me. Ah! My trouble charge empty. Do I have to keep a streak without getting hit? I don't know what rocks you might want to break. We'll see if we can figure it out. Crowded now. Ah! Snap! Alright, trouble charge is full, so if I get a second here, I will charge. So I guess now I can break through rocks. What was that? I hit something gold. Confusing. Further research is required. Oh my. This is just scary. Ah. No. Ah. Quit biting me. bite if we hit the mushrooms, apparently. hard. So it seemed that if you smacked the mushrooms, they would light up and it would quit the, uh... Was that a barracuda? I don't even really know what they look like. It would quit it from biting. Uh, very confusing. Alright. We will do Snowfall Lake and then take a break for now. Um, we've learned quite a lot. Quite a lot for me to look into because some, of, some aspects of this game are not 100% clear to me at this time. Ah. 
nice bouncing. So many things to do at once. Slide. Freezing water. Sounds rough. Ooh, it's bad. What's bad? Is it the snowflakes? Kind of hard to see. said you could break through rocks, I didn't really know what it meant, but it seemed to me after I activated the trouble charge that um, I was able to break through the black notes, actually. I'm not sure if that's what they call rocks. But if that's the case, then you can turn that on and just kind of plow through a difficult area, which is nice. I will do some more experimentation on that note. And uh, next time I can tell you if I figure anything out. Oh, jeez, giant fish. Look at Ah! Whee! Alright, not too bad. So that was the second three levels of Tadpole Trouble. Thank you for joining me. I hope you enjoyed it and hope you learned something. I think I learned some things, but uh, I'll look into them more and hopefully I'll have a better explanation for you next time. Um, so that's it. Next time we'll check out the Gusty Rapids and whatever may lie at the bottom of this waterfall. So I'll see you then.